This is page 55 of your math journal. Okay, we're going to give this one the title of ratios. All right, first of all, you need to know what a ratio is. So let's put a star. This is going to be a definition. Okay, a ratio is a comparison of one number to another. of one amount to, sorry, that's supposed to be an N, amount to another amount. And then in parentheses, I want you to write using division. Okay, there are three ways that we can write ratios. Okay, if we are comparing A to B, there are three ways to write it. We can write it A to B. I did big B, so maybe I should do that here. A to B. Another way we could write it is a colon B. Another way we could write it is a over B. And here's your division that you can see. Okay, these are just three ways to write comparing the first number to the second number. Okay, in parentheses over here, I want you to write, or, or stars, let's do a star. I want you to write order matters. If I list A first, then I'm talking about the first number. If I list this next, I'm talking about the second number. So we're going to do some examples. Okay, skip one line, and I want you to draw three circles. Um, let's do five triangles. And four squares. So here, I have a group of items. So if I want you to write a ratio, so let's write this down, write a ratio. Comparing squares. I'm just going to draw a square. Squares and circles. So looking at what I have, we're going to write it all three ways. The first thing listed is the first number I need to write. So squares, how many, how many represent squares? Well, there's four squares. So I would write it four two, how many circles do you see? Three. So the ratio would be four to three. If I were to write it with the colon, it would be four colon three. But we still read it four to three. And if it was a fraction, I'd write it four over three. The first one has to be first, the second one has to be second. Okay, next line, let's do, um, the ratio of triangles to squares. Okay, in this case, triangles is listed first. So we have five triangles to four squares. Another way we could write it, 5, 2, 4, 
Another way we could write it, 5 on top, 4 on the bottom of the fraction. Now if you'll think about a fraction, a fraction is just a ratio. It's always parts to a total. Okay, um, sometimes it might ask you to compare, let's do triangles to all figures. Okay, the ratio of triangles to all objects, all shapes. Okay, in this case we have four tri oh, five triangles. To how many objects do we have total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this would be five to twelve triangles to all shapes. Five colon twelve or five over twelve. Here's your fraction of 5 out of 12 shapes. Um, let's do ratio of circles to other shapes. Okay, sometimes you're going to have to think about it just a little bit. Not that this is very hard. But circles, how many circles do I have? I have three circles. Oh, I'm sorry. I want to change this. I want to change this to squares. And I have a teaching reason for it. So cross it out and I want you to change it to squares. Okay, now that you've changed that, ratio of squares. To other shapes. So how many squares do we have? Four. Two. How many other shapes? Well, the circles and the triangles would be eight. Four to eight. So for every, um, okay, so the next one would be four colon eight. And the next one would be four over eight. All right, now there's something about ratios. Just like fractions, we like them in their simplest form. So I want a little star here. And we want to write ratios in their reduced form. Okay, and how do we do that? We factor out the GCF. So by factoring out another way to think about it in parentheses dividing the GCF. So let's look back up here to the squares and other shapes. So we had 4 to 8. Okay, if I want to reduce that, the greatest common factor of 4 and 8 is 4. So, using the example of 4 to 8, if I factor out a GCF of 4, that would simplify to 1 over 2. And I know you guys are very familiar with reducing a fraction, but what does this mean? What that means is for every one square, because remember this top one represented squares, for every one square there are two other shapes. That doesn't mean that there's only one square and two other shapes. But looking back up here, for every square, I could get two other shapes. Okay, so let's try reducing another fra um, Let's try reducing a ratio and then writing the statement to go with it. Okay, so I'm going to say this. 
example. There are 14 dogs and 21 cats at the shelter. What is the ratio of cats to dogs? Okay, first of all, wording is totally important, especially with ratios. Notice what it asks, the ratio of cats to dogs. So, to begin with, I have to put cats first because cats is stated first. So my ratio would be 21 to 14. Or 21 to 14. Or 21 over 14. Whichever way you want to look at it, those are all ratios of cats to dogs. But we always want the reduced ratio. So what is a common factor? What is the biggest common factor for 21 and 14? 7. So if I reduce by a factor of 7, this would be 3, 2, 2. Now does that mean there's only 3 cats in there and 2 dogs? No. That is just a reduced form of the ratio. So that means, let's write out the sentence that what that would mean. It would mean there are three cats for every two dogs in the shelter. Okay, and that's all a ratio is.